Now, I couldn't help but notice your date tonight is not Pete Davenport. <laughs> I never wear the same mantle from here twice. <laughs> now, how does Pete feel about you doing a movie like this? I'm my own woman. That's really what this movie's about. Thank you so much. Thanks, Lionel. Thank you. It's the end of day two in the search for baby Zoe, the 10-month-old girl that has gone missing. Tonight, friends, neighbors, and residents from local cities have gathered to show support and offer strength to Zoe's family. I'm joined by Zoe's mother, Jennifer Lynn. Jennifer, how are you managing to get through this very difficult time? Just with my family and my friends, and knowing that Zoe's out there and that she's okay. And you truly believe that? I have to. Can you tell us about the moment you first discovered she was gone? I don't really know who I am. You know, my mind just went blank. Well, is there anything that you would like to say to the person out there that took Zoe? I haven't looked at my messages yet. All right, I'll look at them right now. Okay, bye. Hey, I just, I wanted to say thank you so much. I really think that this is gonna help bring Zoe back. Hey, it's a good story. Okay, well, um, I really appreciate it. Oh, God. What? The, the police, they found a body. A baby. Mandy was reportedly just spotted at trendy downtown night spot, the Raptor Lounge. And we have some footage from the Raptor Lounge shot just moments ago and posted by one of our viewers. Uh, Castle, isn't that... That's Ale Alexis. High above central Pennsylvania, this train got away. Emergency responders want to halt all activity near the line and possibly evacuate all homes within a mile radius of the tracks. There's thousands of gallons of fuel on board, which is highly flammable, but we're still awaiting word on that. We've just learned that 26-year rail company veteran John Stewart is at the controls of the engine that is in front of the runaway train. 